this video, I'm going to give you an in-depth explanation about web development and the three tools you'll need to create your own website. So today we'll have four topics. We'll talk about the internet. Next would be the World Wide Web, websites and web development. And lastly, we'll have a brief explanation about HTML, what they are, and how they work together. The internet is basically a global computer of networks. It allows people to communicate and share information. It also allows you to order your next stress relieving package, stream your favorite movie in Netflix, or find the goodest boy on the internet. Next, we have the World Wide Web. It was invented by Sir Tim Berners-Lee in 1989 while he was still working at CERN, or the European Organization for Nuclear Research. It was originally developed for scientists and universities around the world. Its main goal was to merge technologies on computers, data networks, and hypertext into a global information system. A website is a collection of web pages that are located under a single domain name. It can be accessed through a device that has a web browser that is connected to the internet, like your smartphone, laptops, desktops, even your smart TV. If you're watching this video on YouTube, that means you're using YouTube's website, which is under domain name youtube.com. Examples of generally used websites would be Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Reddit, and other social media platforms. A website can be a simple static page or a complex one, like your online bank or your favorite blog website. Now, let's talk about web development. What are the steps? you can take for you to create your own website. First, you'll need to do web designing. And web designing, the most popular process would be design thinking. And design thinking has five steps. Emphasize, that means knowing your users. Second would be define, that means listing down your users' needs, their problems, and your insights. And then the third step would be to ideate, that would mean challenging assumptions and creating ideas for innovation. After you're done brainstorming, you can now create your prototype. For websites, there can be two main prototypes, a low-fi or a low-fidelity wireframe and a high-fi or a high-fidelity wireframe. After you've created your wireframe, you can now test it. Test and test until you create the best solution. After designing, you've got front-end. Front-end would mean what the user sees or the graphic user interface. That would be the days the design or the layout, the navigation menus, text, images, or videos on your website. You can use the three tools, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript for front-end development. And then when you're done with your front-end, you can go to the back-end, which would be the processes, server to your browser, and, and the languages you can use are Node.js, PHP, Java, Ruby, or Python. And then the most important step would be to secure your network or your website. Since we're in the information age, our user's data is our top priority. That would mean protecting your user from data breaches, making sure that the network they are accessing is secured. You can use SSL or Firewall. For our last topic, we'll be talking about HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. First, we'll talk about HTML or hypertext markup language. This was also invented by Sir Tim Berners-Lee in 1991. It's used by web browsers to interpret and compose text, images, and other material into visual and audible web pages, just like the one you're seeing right now, presentation. It's got a title, paragraph, a list, and a button. You can create an HTML by saving a file with a .html file extension. HTML basically tells the browser how to display a web page with the correct structure. So next we have CSS, or the Cascading Style Sheets. It was developed by Hakon Wimplay in 1994. CSS is used to display web page content with colors, backgrounds, shadows, or font family. The word cascading in CSS means prioritization to determine which rule applies if more than one rule matches an HTML element. I'll explain it more on the next video about CSS. So CSS tells the browser how to style a web page. Okay, that's the keyword, the style. Next and last, we have JavaScript, often abbreviated as just the words or just the letters JS. It's used for interaction and automating content, like pop-up messages, real-time notifications, and animations. JS or JavaScript is not related to the programming language Java. They follow different design principles, 
and are actively developed by unrelated organizations. So JavaScript is used for interaction. Now for a recap of what we've talked about. The internet connects the people around the world. The World Wide Web was invented by Sir Tim Berners-Lee. He also invented HTML. The WWW was originally developed for scientists in universities. Web development is the process of creating a website. And then we talked about HTML, CSS, JavaScript, which are the three tools for front-end development. HTML is for structure, CSS is for styling, JavaScript is for interaction. So there we go. I hope this video has helped you on your journey towards web development. If you have questions, feel free to comment it down below. And if you've learned something from this video, hit the like button. It will help us out a lot. By the way, we'll be posting a series about basic web development in the coming weeks. In each video, we'll have a thorough discussion about HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And then in the last video, we'll create a website. So don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. Also, tell your friends about Pixelate Academy. Learning is always fun with friends. See you later, Pixelators.